Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to Bridges. I'm your host, Rafi Abdul Malik. Joining us in the studio, as normal, we have Dr. Naji Al Fadj. Welcome, Dr. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How's everything? Just fine. You're enjoying your stay in Egypt? Alhamdulillah. 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 Right now, it's too cold in Egypt. The weather's too cold. How is it in Saudi? Is it warm right now? It's the same thing. It's oh, a little it's bit it, cold. Uh, the yeah. weather's cold. Well, viewers, we're talking about, you know, what questions are asked. We're talking about what is the last destination. So, Doctor, previous and previous episodes, we were talking about questions that will be asked in the grave. We talked about, you know, the questions the angels will ask us. We, we you know, we took a depth look at everything. I want to ask you, Doctor, what is our last destination? Great. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. I love you in Allah and for the sake of Allah. Inshallah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to gather us all in paradise. Amen. Actually, this is part of the last destination. Mm. Whether we go to paradise, eternal life, okay. or to hellfire. The last destination is mm. a crucial matter. It yes. is a big issue. Yes. We, we must think thoroughly about it of course we, mu we must seek the truth mm -hmm. for this end for this last destination definitely where do you want to go i ask you i ask my dear brothers and sisters there where do you want to go at mm -hmm. the end of course. after your life after the end of your life mm -hmm. do you want to go to a happy good beautiful place or a bad, miserable place. Exactly. What is the last destination? Again, the answer, the full answer is found in the Quran. Yes. There are many chapters, there are many verses uh -huh. in the Quran speak about the day of judgment, about paradise, Allah. about Jannah, and about the hellfire. Uh -huh. So people, according to the Quran, will be questioned yes. and will be sorted out. Those who will go to paradise and those who were taken to the hellfire. Okay. Who are those who will be taken to paradise, to eternal life? Who? Inshallah, the slaves of Allah. The slaves of Allah. Mm -hmm. A good answer, mashallah. Thank you, brother. Those who will go to paradise, those who believed in Allah truly, uh -huh. those who knew Him truly, worshipped, worshipped Him alone, mm -hmm. served Him alone, prayed to Him alone, and followed His commandments. Of course. Those who denied Him uh. or did not follow Him uh. as He wants, they might mix or associate partners with him. Okay. This is so dangerous, yes. brother. This is so dangerous. Mm -hmm. They might think of the one true God, yes. they say the Father, but they include other things, yes. like saying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Or they might add other gods or idols there. Yes. They might worship Buddha. Mm -hmm. Krishna, Brahma, mm -hmm. Shiva, Vishnu, you name it. Yes. Or they might deny the existence of God. Of course. Atheists, they say there is no God. Subhanallah. Don't waste your time. Subhanallah. Just enjoy yourself, yes. as you mentioned before. Yeah, previously. Just yes. enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. But there, they, they will find and witness the truth. Yes. That there is another life. Yes. Of it's course. not the end. No. This is not this is not the end of the story. Of course. When Dr. we are done, mm -hmm. when we are, you know, dead, when we die in this life, brother, this is not the end of the of the story. Exactly, Doctor. It's, it's very touching because the, the first thing I learned after reverting to Islam, what is tomorrow? And the question you've just answered is Doctor, tomorrow is forever. This life is so short, it doesn't mean anything, it's irrelevant. It's how we act as a people, 
how we behave, our morals, our values, our concept of Allah, how we believe in Allah. But the major thing is be ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is forever. There's no getting out of it. There's no, you won't die, you won't be ill. There's nothing. It's, it's permanent and it's so important for everyone to have a chance that inshallah we are going to have a chance we, we want to have you know everyone to have this chance so doctor you know enlighten us the destination of you know paradise we, we're talking about hellfire we're talking about paradise and we're talking who will go to hellfire who will go to paradise who only knows who only knows that who will go to where Allah knows best. Yes. We agree on that. The Quran tells us that. Mm. But there are conditions. Yes. To be admitted to a certain school mm. or a certain work, there are certain conditions. Yes. So there are some conditions too. Yes. When you talk about submission, yes. obeying the true God, there are conditions. Subhanallah. We have do's yes. and don'ts. Yes. Those who follow them according to the will of God. The Bible, the Quran, teach us it is according to the will of mm. God. It is not according to my will. Okay. Even Jesus said, even Jesus said that it is not according to my will. It is mm. according to thy will. Oh God, pass this cup, pass this, 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 this difficulty from me. Yes. According to thy will, not according to my will. Subhanallah. Jesus said, what I teach you mm. is not my own. Yes. What I teach you, it is from God. Subhanallah. This is the teaching from God. Yes. Again, if we believe in God, we have to believe in Him according to Him. Yes. According to His will. Of not according to our whims. Or according to our thinking or mm. you know, just desires. Those who mix the truth with falsehood yes. go back. You, you need to review. Of course. We need to review the basics. Yes. Are we on the straight path? That would be great. Inshallah. If we are on the straight path, following the guidance of the Quran mm -hmm. and the true message of Jesus and Moses, mm -hmm. the unaltered, the unchanged one, the original message of yes. Moses and Jesus. If we follow them, if, followed, if we follow that message, then we will have salvation. SubhanAllah. Subhanallah. Dr. Allah, I want to ask you, how, how can we obtain the peace of mind? How can we obtain success? Great. This can lead us to another major question. How can we attain true peace of mind, success, and real happiness? Yes. As a result, as you know, a good fruit from the previous point that I mentioned. Yes. What I just mentioned, paradise. Yes. We, when we work hard for paradise, mm. we will have the peace of mind. Exactly. So what you, tr you know, the message that's coming out to me, doctor, is in this life, we're like um, a seed, let's say. And in the next life, we are going to have the fruits of our seeds. If we, you know, just do the little tasks, the simple task that Allah asks us to do. Exactly. This is, you know, this is like a package. Yes. A complete package. Mm. If you take it, you can be, inshallah, if you take it completely, yes, wholeheartedly, yes, this is the meaning of submission. Yes, submission does not mean that you do what you like mm -hmm. and things that you don't like. Is you know, I will do it later on. Okay. I will, I I'll pray, but I will not fast, okay. or I will give charity, but I will, I I might drink wine. Yes, okay. No, it is a complete package. Islam means what? Submission. Yes. Complete mm. surrender. Mm -hmm. To who? Allah. To your whims? Mm. To your desires? 
submission or surrender to your whims or to the will of God? Yes, of course. This is a big question. A good concept. To whom should we wholeheartedly submit? Mm -hmm. So when we submit to him, when we obey him, when we pray to him, this is another beautiful thing that I, yes. I would like to share with you and with our dear of course, viewers. Of course. That prayer is another source of peace of mind. Yes. When we pray, when we kneel down and prostrate, mm. putting our forehead on the ground, mm. then we are charged with peace of mind. Yes. Allah tells us that prayer and remembering Him mm. are two main things of obtaining or attaining of course. peace of mind. Of course. So how to get peace of mind? How to be successful? How to have real happiness through, again, through believing in Allah mm. after knowing Him? Truly, soundly, so. correctly, following his commandments, obeying him, praying to him. Yes. When we do that, we will have peace of mind, Subhanallah. success, and real happiness. SubhanAllah, Doctor. You know, it's very, very true what you're saying. You know, to, to be crucial, to have success, to pray, all those things are perfect. We're going to take a look after the break and further about these questions. So sure. just, you know, just bear with us. We're going to take a quick break, Judd is after the break, where we'll actually take a look at some more questions. Until then, Salaam Walaikum. Salaam Walaikum. And a very warm welcome back to Bridges. Before the break, we were discussing, you know, how to obtain peace of mind, how to obtain that tranquility of the oneness. Asalaamu Alaikum, Dr. Welcome Wa Alaikum Asalaam Wa Rahmatullah. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon us all, inshaAllah. Amen, amen, inshaAllah. So, Doctor, we were discussing before the break, you know, how to obtain the peace of mind, tranquility. And I believe you're going to share with us some thoughts that, you, ha you know, you've compiled in your book, you know, that you've, you've extensively studied over the last 30 years. Share with us, Doctor, you know, because it's a fascinating point. We've discussed what happens in the next life. How do we get to the next life? But the best part is, how do we obtain peace of mind? Bismillah. Let's please continue. Let's go to the slide to mm. shed more light on Excellent. this question. Yes. How to attain peace of mind? Mm -hmm. How to attain tranquility and contentment? Yes. How to be how to how to be happy mm. from inside? Mm -hmm. I believe that happiness comes from inside. Yes. Not uh, just outside uh -huh. or from outside. Mm -hmm. It emerges from inside. Mm. If you are inside happy, everything will be around you. You will look at it in a nice way. Perfect. Now let's go to some of the keys. Yes. Some of the secrets that I would like to share with you, uh -huh. my dear brother and my dear, you know, viewers. The first one is, know your one true God, believe and worship Him alone, follow His will and remember Him always. Perfect. So this is the first key, yes. the first secret that we know Allah, we know God, the true one, mm. the God of all prophets, mm. including Moses, Jesus, and finally the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and those who are following them sincerely. Yes. If we remember him, we will find, we will get the peace of mind. There is a verse or a part of a verse mm. in the Quran where it says, where it reads, Ala Through remembering Allah, hearts will be in rest, will be in contentment, mm. in peace of mind. Mm. So through remembering Allah, so when we say, La ilaha illallah, in Arabic we say, La ilaha illallah, uh -huh. there is no God, but the only true one. Yes. When we say, Alhamdulillah, 
you feel it. Yes. When you say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, mm -hmm. just try to say it. Let's yeah. say it. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Uh -huh. Let's try it. Let's say, La ilaha illallah. Yes. Try it. Yes. You'll find that this emerges, this will trigger peace of mind yes. in your heart. Doctor, you know, I can't agree with you any more than what you just said. Everything that you've just spoken about, saying alhamdulillah, astaghfirullah, it, it enlightens your heart. It makes you feel at peace. Because after the prayer, you know, we say alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, 33 times and mm -hmm. such things. And to, to praise Allah more gives you peace of mind. That's an excellent, you know, a real excellent piece of information, Doctor. Thanks for sharing that with us. Allah tells us in the Quran to rem to mention Him, mm. to remember Him. Yes. Those who remind Allah a lot. Yes. Those who يذكرون الله كثيرا. Those who remember Allah so much, mm. they are so connected with Allah. Uh -huh. Their hearts are linked to Him. Mm. They remember Him. Alhamdulillah, astaghfirullah, yes. subhanallah, insha'Allah. Insha this gives us power, yes. energy mm -hmm. in our hearts. Of course. So this is a main way, a main or a key, you know, way to have peace of mind. Yes. Let me go to another, another one. That is love for others mm -hmm. what you love for yourself yes this is another great thing in islam mm -hmm. that when you love others and you love for them what you love for yourself this keeps you away from envy yes it keeps you away from sick hearts or sicknesses yes. in general of course so try to be sincere try your best yes. to be kind sincere mm. caring and sharing subhanallah so doctor what you're trying to tell us here you want for other people what you want for yourself allow your heart to open up and say if you want i don't know a car please give my brothers and sisters this car what i want for myself what's good for me is good for my brothers let me share in, in my happiness and it opens up the heart, Doctor, like, you know, we're discussing. It opens up, saying, you know, all those words, remembering Allah, it opens up and gives us the crucial point of seeking the peace. Wonderful, brother. By the way, when we, when we, when we care, when we give, mm. when we love others, mm -hmm. Allah will give us. Exactly. So when you love others for the sake of God, not for the sake of, human yes. things, mm. just to love him, hoping that he will give you yes. a certain you know, thing or a certain uh, amount mm -hmm. of money of course. or to get a, a job. Of course. No, you do it sincerely yes. for the sake of Allah. SubhanAllah. You leave something and you, you give it to others yes. for the sake of Allah. It's a good point, Doc. So what you're actually saying to us, if you want to do a good deed in your heart, do it because you want to not to benefit from that person. So for example, if I have a friend um, who, who, you know, is going to, who got cars. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to do that for that person because he may give me a car. No, I have to do it because to benefit who? Me, just to, ben to get the benefit from Allah. Don't do it because, you know, the person may give me a, a brand new car. Do it out of sincerity. For example, if we have somebody less fortunate who gives me, like I mentioned in previous episodes, when I go to anywhere in Egypt, they come out and say, oh, assalamu alaikum. And I, we can't speak Arabic. You know, it's very difficult. They give me, out of sincerity, what they have, whether it be an orange, whether it be a prayer mat, whether it be, you know, anything they give me out of sincerity they are not looking for something from me they don't they don't say rafi what can you give me that's a very very good point doctor and it's you know again opening up that heart they know brother they mm. know that when they give you something mm. allah will give them allah will give them reward mm -hmm. allah will bless them 
and will make things easy for them. Subhanallah. So if we do it sincerely for the sake of Allah, mm -hmm. Allah has the keys of all things. Yes. He has the treasures. Uh -huh. So he can give you, you know, a, tre a tremendous mm. uh, treasure. Yes. If, if, if we love God, if we love for others, what we love for ourselves. So, so I want to stress this, that first we have to have the love for Allah. Yes. And then love for others. We respect them, we love them, mm. and we share with them the best that we have. And this is what we are trying to do here. Yes. We are trying to share the beauty of Islam. We, we try to share with them the core, uh, the essence of our knowledge and experience mm -hmm. to give it and to share it with others. Exactly. We are still learning. I, I am myself, I'm still learning. Mm. We are still learning. Of course. And we, we, we are interested to share the small amount of knowledge that we have yes. to share it with others out of love mm. and out of concern and care. Yes. SubhanAllah, Doctor. So what's coming across to me is compassion. To, to believe in one God, to believe in the goodness of other people. Share your happiness with other people. Don't be greedy. Mm -hmm. Share your thoughts with people. If you want to be nice, be nice to upon others. It's a very, very good qualities. So it leads us again to opening the art up, Doctor, to opening the art up to one God, to, to say the words like, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah, Allah, it opens our hearts and you know I, I want to stress to the viewers please please you know figure figure this out you know go to the internet go to dr naji's website and check it all out doctor so you know continue on the key steps of how to gain you know peace of mind great let me reveal another secret let's go to number three be generous mm -hmm. to others and try to make them happy mm -hmm. When you, you are generous yes. in terms of not only money, yes. but even generous with your smiles, with your care, your concern, mm. your time spent with others, yes. your expertise, mm -hmm. when you help to teach, yes. to translate, to educate others, mm -hmm. this is part of being generous. So when you, when you give others, when you share with others, this will trigger more love and more, you know, care in your heart and in the hearts of others towards you. Subhanallah. So this will be a source of peace, happiness and contentment. MashaAllah, Doctor. Well, that's all we have time for right now. We're going to actually continue this in the next episode. Inshallah. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching at home. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.